I got I got a few minutes to wrap with y'all because I got um I'm on another mission. Um okay. I did hear a little bit about the uh and I hate to even talk about this um after that story. So you know what I'm saying I was definitely trying to get on prior and and you know give a disclaimer I'm I'm very emotional about what we just witnessed uh in that interview. I'm gonna start with that. But I also want to clear the air on some things as well. Um and, and this is not it's not a disclaimer or anything like that. It's not a me copping no plea or nothing like that. Um, I think that you all and many people on the platform and the viewers already know that uh, I take pride in not giving a F. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that is that. Um, but my point in saying what I'm saying, um, yesterday, of course, you know, as we know, Dr. Cornell West was supposed to have been on Riot Starter TV or RSTV. And um, he was at the New York Climate uh, Week on uh, this past weekend, and to my understanding, according to his wife, you know, he led a rally in March, so on and so forth, and his vocal cords was a little jacked up. He needed to rest his vocal cords, cool in the game. What I did was on uh, earlier yesterday, I reached out to uh, Killer Mike because I thought it'd be a good thing to have uh, all these folks do one fell swoop to talk about politics, right? To talk about politics and to talk about um, you know, in his case, you know, hip hop, so on and so forth. Um, I got the message from Cornell's wife, like I said, and I re hit Mike back up. I'm like, yo, you know, Cornell's not going to be able to come on, but if you want to come on, you know, tap in. I didn't hear from him, you know. So then when I started the show, I was going to just cancel the show altogether. I started the show. I got the phone call. He's like, what's the link? Send him the link. We begin the convo. It wasn't a planned interview with Killer Mike. It was a discussion that I was going to have with uh, both individuals. I felt it'd be good for, you know, good for BPM. Um, I wanted to ask him certain questions, certain per per pertinent questions in regards to his political moves, everything from sitting down with Kemp to, um, to uh, Cop City. And I did that. Now, I need people to be clear and understand something. I've been on several panels with Mike, including uh, everything from town hall meetings to uh, CNN special at, at, at his barbershop. You know what I'm saying? And whenever we sat down dealing with politics, I disagreed with him on his politics to his face. It's not a situation where I'm, I'm, I'm not an ass kisser. I don't care that you're a celebrity. I don't care you're a revolutionary. I don't care what you are. However, when I'm interviewing people, I have a different stance. If I if I bring you to my house, then my position is to give the people the opportunity to hear what it is, how you move from your mouth. I've been knowing this, this, this brother for years, for damn near close to two decades, right? Now, he know damn well I don't agree with his politics. So that's not, and I said that on, this, on the platform yesterday. That's neither here nor there. But also, I want to point out that although I don't agree with his politics, I'm clear with where his heart is from when it comes to organizing on the streets of Atlanta. I know for a fact that he supported a couple different uh, uh, organizers and organizations that exist right here on this platform, um, you know, giving thousands of dollars to different campaigns, so on and so forth. I know he's supporting folks like Imam Jamal al -Amin. I know he supported folks like Dr. Matula Shakur and others, right? I am clear. I don't I don't represent the politics of Killer Mike. I don't represent the politics of, the, of uh, the chat. I don't represent the politics of this platform. That's not my job. When I'm in this particular capacity, it's to interview whoever the hell I'm interviewing. Now, do I agree with everybody that comes on this platform? No, I don't even agree with all the hosts. And they don't agree with me. It's not a secret. We have different stances on things. I'm an organizer. I've been organizing 37 years, right? And I use creative resistance in whatever way, fashion that I can. That I can. Okay? Um, I like to think that my work is effective. I like to think that. Um, and, you know, not just a killer mic. We've had all types of different individuals from hip-hop artists to attorneys to 
you know, whatever. But I'm also clear that none of these people are my leaders. I don't give a damn what nobody say. You can say you're an apple if you want to. That's on you. I don't care what your pronoun is. I don't care what 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 your what your status is. None of that type of shit. The reality at the end of the day is what can I utilize? What can you bring to the table when I'm fighting and I'm working towards the liberation of the masses, the liberation of my people? You know what I mean? Whatever you do is what you do. When I pick up a gun, if I got to utilize that gun, I don't care where the hell the gun is made. It, if, it was, if it was made in the Ukraine and that's the only damn weapon I got to shoot my way out of some shit, then I'm going to pick up that weapon. That don't mean I'm uniting with the Ukrainians. You understand what I'm saying? So I need folks to be clear and understand that we give people an audience based on how we respond or don't respond to people. We can choose to ignore folks. We can say, shut up and rap. Like, like, like the white girl said to the ball player, shut up and dribble. That's your choice. That is your position. You don't have to sit and watch us talk on BPM. You could turn the thing off or you could leave. But what I won't have myself is I won't be disrespected by anyone. Okay? Now, behind the screen, that's cool. Knock yourself out the box. But you hard-pressed to run up on me talking that nonsense in real life. Am I a tough guy? No. However, I would like to think that I'm a man of respect. And I like to think that I respect others, so I expect the same thing from others. Me bringing Killer Mike on was in no way, fashion, or form for him to disrespect our platform or disrespect any of our co-hosts or my partners. We all know, including my man Jared, and we've had this discussion, um, we know who's invited, who's banned from this platform, and who's not. Otherwise, gloves are off. Whatever you want to do, do your thing. You know what I'm saying? But I'm here for a few minutes if anyone has any questions, disagreements, comments, hate mail. Knock yourself out the box. Appreciate that. Don't y'all be slinging the damn hate mail. You <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. Jackie. I don't want the hate mail, mail though. Why I want to say no damn hate mail at my comrades. Bring it. I want to say again: do a response, do a meaningful, substantive response. If particularly if you have a platform, or if you are invited to this platform, or if you have an outlet. That's if you have another show on this platform and you feel so inclined, that's my humble request. That's what I think makes more value. The the hate mail, the 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 comments, the this, the that. I you know, uh um, and again, I, I would I say again, I thank you. And I do not, I know it sounds petty given my <laughs> reputation around here, but I'm not meaning to be petty. I am meaning, I am grateful that we have a document where he's been asked important questions and he responded and we can do with those responses what we will. And that's what I, and I have no problem with that as being part of a, of a collage of discussions that occur on this platform. That's what we need to be doing. I don't, I'm really not, you know, so, so my only, my biggest, my, from what little I saw when I haven't seen the whole thing yet. So is is that my only humble request would be if if Mike same thing to Mike that if you have a specific issue with a specific person or view make it plain like he he is a very gifted and talented speaker and artist <laughs> i you know if if there is a I, you know the 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 indirect or unnamed criticisms i think are are you know unnecessary and unhelpful but other than that, man, I think you know that's that's my views on it. I think yeah. you know we can't we can't expect a certain level of uh, and, and, uh, purity now, and perfection. I guess. Yeah. yeah go ahead. And sorry. I, and and, uh, and to your point, and and, and 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 allow me to allow me to say this right because I want people to be clear, folks who are new to the platform, so on and so forth. <clears throat> I'm not Mike's bodyguard. I'm not his manager. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not running interference for him. You know what I'm saying? Whatever y'all got to say, whatever, you know, EYL or whoever, you know, shit, that's on y'all. They ain't got nothing to do with me. My position, I only show up when, when, like, like, like homeboys say, say my name, I'll make you dash like Dane. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever, you know, if, if, if I'm in it, then, then I'm in it. You know what I mean? I'm interviewing them. I ain't getting married. I ain't, you know right. what I'm saying? I ain't signing them to a record contract. I ain't his political representative. You understand what I'm saying? That's not, that, that's not my job. He's a grown man. And that's that. Now I know that that uh 
Jared and, and Mike have spoken on on several uh, occasions. You know, and I know that that that, that fell. And to my understanding, it, and correct me if I'm wrong, Jared. In fact, I believe that that he actually at one point joined Black Alliance for Peace at your well, at your request. So technically, and that caused another whole bunch of, uh, you know, <laughs> technically, what technically he did uh, not. No, he what did he not. did, what he did was he signed up for the newsletter, and then that was <laughs> okay. <laughs> the bat. You, just... Now you're trying to get me. Now you, Kalachi was like, "Don't get mad at me. Look at what Jay did." Damn, well, yeah, I'm, I'm about to Nino Brown. I'm about to Nino Brown. And he gave Kamal thirty thousand dollars for community movement builders. <laughs> what else he do? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'll put something in the cash app. I'm telling it all this morning. <laughs> Uh uh, because if he actually had and gotten connected with BAP Atlanta, but this would we this might be a different conversation. Oh man, that is hilarious. No, that's not what happened. Hey, do dollar sign Kalanji Changa. I'm yeah. bringing it up. Yeah. <laughs> New Patreon episode. Yo, Kalanji yeah, tells it all. Yeah, yeah. I, hey, hey y'all, listen. I'm Kalanji Changa. I know what's going on. Don't play with me. <laughs> Well, listen, Kalaji, we we appreciate you for coming oh, through man. and um no doubt, doing the man. interview. Love yeah, and and also bringing bringing the, bringing people to the to this platform that we need to have a conversation with and not being biased and bringing them up here. So, hey, listen, but, but to your point, here, Doctor, and I, I want to say this before I just before I sign off. Um, remember this is this is Black Power Media. Black Power Media is a network, mm. just like many other. Uh, platforms you watch the difference is you have the opportunity to interact with us live and direct and you could come up with your with your comments and and, and some of y'all you know some of y'all in the chat are just suckers you know what i'm saying you're just throwing <laughs> dirt you know what i'm saying you're just some straight suckers you some corn balls that couldn't get through life so now you want to come for us don't play with me homie you know what i'm saying do your tight buys if you want to that's all good you know what i'm saying do your tight buys but don't ever, ever, ever in your life get it twisted and think that I'm a YouTuber. But anyway, I just had to get it off my chest.